Hi everyone, I'm Ella for Borg and Geek, and today I'm with Dominic. With um, and we're going to talk about. Hi, sorry, yeah, a bit of delay. I'm in Australia, so <laughs> so we're um, we are from Medieval Lords, and we're going to be talking about Out of Style. And um, so, how do we play Out of Style, and are we Out of Style? Okay, so Out Style uh, is actually a game of um, mainly it shines one to one or two on two, um, and yes. it's it's a game where you are actually using um, just kind of like around sixty cards, and that's the whole game. Mm. So that's the beauty of it. It's, it's mainly it's also partially the size. Look at that, All right? And um, yeah, it's it's where um, you kind of it's a theme around basketball, and yes, you actually play um, either the offense or the defense okay and yes. um, basically what we are talking about here is where for example um, if you're on defense and I'm on offense uh, the whole aim is for me to score um, two baskets so if I if I dunk the ball twice um, I win the game but yes. um, we are also yes. adding a little spin to it so this is not just basketball it's actually street basketball so in street cool. basketball, the biggest difference um, than those you see in the NBA is that they really respect style. Okay. And, and what do you mean say by style, style? It's kind of like all oh, the swag moves and all that. So people um, right. in the street, they they really um, I would say put individual skills at a really high priority. And yes. um, what it means would be when you play really good um, cards that actually um, symbolize your your big moves. You know, like getting the ball between your opponent's moves, um, you know, tricking them, doing some feints and all that. Um, you, you actually could score style points. So mm -hmm. there's two ways to win the game. As I said earlier, you know, if, if you score two baskets, you win. Or if you acquire a total of 42 points, you also win. Okay. Right, right. So as um, you see, I have the, the set here. Um, mm -hmm. and Nikki if you're has ready, um, yes. I could actually just get right into it and play, you know, a game. Okay. Yes. Right. Um, how did you well, come up with the theme? So it seems like you could have just gone straight basketball. Why did you put style into it? Is it because you wanted to get the flavor? Because it's very hard with a card game. Sometimes um, the mechanics are really strong. But this one, I feel like because street basketball is very dynamic. Do you feel that putting in style uh, like highlights the theme more? Or what was the reasoning behind it? Okay, so uh, because this is a card game, uh, um, <laughs> yes. designing this thing um, had to be more than just um, scoring, you know, the baskets. So well, right. while it works in real life, in sports, uh, if you're, you know, converting it into a card game, uh, because I'm a designer who likes to focus very much around uh, multiple paths to victory, uh, so right, it's kind right. of an extra element, which in this game you have to watch out for. So either you score two baskets or um, you score enough style points to win. So there's two different elements which get you uh, the victory. So yes. um, I think I would really attribute this, this style part into being a necessary um, component of uh, the game design so that it's really exciting for players where they have to watch out for one of two ways to win keeping them, you know, on their toes all the time. Yes. So we actually have it on the table right here. I wonder if we could like do a turn so that we have an idea of how it goes because it'll be better so we have get a feel of the game. Okay, so I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think I would be really excited to try an actual um, round with you for yes. just a while. Oh, um, absolutely. Are you to going to be the you? offense or the defense? Uh, well, it doesn't matter because what happens is um, if I'm on offense now and you snatch the ball, um, we will we I'm gonna switch be roles and I would become defense. Right. Okay. Right. So cool, uh, cool. I guess um, it's going to be easier if um, you guys can begin as, I guess, defense. Okay, cool. Because we have I'll, four I'll cards. So... Okay. Yes. So yes. Um, you will want to take the um, cards with the gray backings. So that's yes. the defense cards. 
Okay. Cool. So the four cards the over there. The rate backings are the offense cards. So I'm going to use the red ones mm -hmm. and you're going to use the gray ones. Cool. Be gentle. So I'm not used to <laughs> playing this. <laughs> now, as a newbie, <laughs> as a newbie, do you have any tips for me? Like what would be a good first move if I'm playing with you? Well, okay, usually so, you won't tell um, them how to win, but <laughs> please tell me. <laughs> right. Um, so as you can see, the gray cards, um, they only have eight, right? Whereas um, for yeah. the red ones, which is the offense, I've got like a whole ton of it here. Um, the reason yes. being that um, you only have four cards of the eight, okay? So you're going to shuffle the gray cards and you're going to take four, okay? The other four yes. are going to be placed aside. So your defense cards are basically um, numbers three, four, five, and six, okay? And there's actually another card called block, which has no value, but it can be used to block kind of like every value that's a shooting card. As long as it's a shooting card, you yeah. always um, defend, okay? However, yeah. if I don't use a shoot card, your block kind of is useless. It's basically a zero yeah. value. So um, like the whole point of this is, <laughs> sorry, I, I couldn't hear that. Oh, sorry, it's like you. there's nobody shooting and you're blocking. So it looks very funny if you do Oh uh, Yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> that, yes, you're right. So thematically, um, I'm kind of like, tricking you to do a, a jump block, yes. but I wasn't yeah. actually going to do it yet. So this is how a shooting card looks like. You can see like it's it's red border and there's like the word shoot in here. So shooting cards will always be blocked um, by, by block cards. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Exactly that one there. And um, any other card that I have, if I play it, you are going to want to um, have a value on your defense card that's at least the same or higher. Now, the magic trick behind this, uh, if you may notice, um, I mentioned that your, your defense cards only go up to six, right? A value of six. Yes. Well, I have cards in the offense uh, deck that's more than six. So as you can see, it's an eight. So it's yeah. kind of impossible for you to um, block my eight, right? You don't even have a card that goes that high. So the yes. magic trick of this is that we've got something called lockdown. Now, the mm -hmm. lockdown simulates um, the pressure um, that the offense team plays uh, with the ball as I, um, well, I, I kind of put it as being selfish. I'm doing a solo show. Um, I right. don't pass the ball. Um, the pressure gets higher and higher every step of the way. As I go on deeper and deeper, um, the, the lockdown increases with every card exactly like this. So in, um, in the demo you see right there with the components, uh, I've already got a buildup of four lockdown. So, Right. What this lockdown value means for me and you is that every card you play will add this bonus to your value. So as I hit the ball and I just keep going further and further, it's only a matter of time um, before you know the lockdown value goes so heavy, even you playing just a three would mean like a 10. And there's no right. way I could get past that. Right? So. Right. Uh, that's when it's for me to make a call and say, you know what? I think it's too much right now. I'm going to have to pass the ball. So when I pass the ball, I reset your lockdown to zero. Right. Okay, okay cool. Um, I guess but, it's very thematic. But, it's like you're getting closer yeah. to the basket. Yeah, right. And you're going to have more pressure on you. Exactly. Um, but if I pass the ball, the pressure has gone down to zero again. Um, right. However, I kind of lose the swag or the respect yeah. on the street because <laughs> you're out of style you know, they, they, yeah. they like people who can you know just dribble all the way on their own right so if if that right. happens um you being the opponent who managed to force me to do a pass would get style points remember we were talking about um, style points so it's it's all that matters in this game besides the two basket scoring okay so that's sure. the, the gist of the game and uh if you see this card right here it's a, a player eight card that tells you um, when the offense guy can actually do a shoot. So as you can see exactly mm. on the card that's shown there, um, at one or two distance, meaning the cards on the first and second cards that I play, um, yes. I cannot do a shoot. But from the third cool. card onward, um, I, can, I can just sneak in a shoot. So you got to start to be careful, right? But that being yes. said, 
because uh, I'm so far away from the post, um, it's kind of difficult to do um, a, a shot accurately. I, I would actually find it easier as I go, as I work my way closer towards the post, okay? So right. as you can see, um, if I play on my third card or my fourth card, um, the, the lockdown value that's, that's shown there is actually an eight. As you can see here, it's an eight yes. extra lockdown for you as the defense. So if you yes. were to play a three right away, that's an 11. Okay? Right, right. So it's and I can block you. But as I, as I work my way closer uh, until the 10th card, uh, I'm really right at the front of the uh, post then there's no lockdown for you um, in terms of the bonus here. Um, the right. only lockdown you have to worry about are those cards that I've played so far, the lockdown that's been built up so far. Right. Okay, does that make sense? Right. Makes sense. Do you want to play one okay. turn, each other? Sorry, uh, you think? So we uh, do you want to play a turn so that we can see? I want to test yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's yeah, do that. cool. Okay, so um can i get you to um shuffle the eight gray backings that's the defense yes right exactly like Thank that you, Nikki. and uh, when you're done shuffling um draw four and don't show me what the cards are i just thought it, that was a block right there <laughs> <laughs> you're cheating already <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I need to I'm cheat. Draw, You're the um, designer. You're going to be better than me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've got eight cards here right now in my hand, and I'm not going to cool. show you what these eight cards are, okay? Now, mm -hmm. you're going to pick up your four um, defense cards, which are the gray ones. Um, do cool. not show them to the camera. Um, yes. That's the four cards you have right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I can still see. Okay, yeah, I, I can't see it now. Okay, so... Um, before you play a single card first, um, the defense always goes first, okay? So I'm just going to remove my face from this thing right now. And, um, okay, I'm cool. just going to show you. Okay, I, I'm just going to play. Um, sure. Or you could cover your right eyes here. if you want when I look at my cards too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I actually have um, my first card here. Now, because yes. you know you only have four cards, right? And I have eight. Yes. Um, yes. It's impossible for you to react to every single card I have. Okay? Yes. If you were to play one card to every card I did, by the fourth card, you would be, you know, out of cards. That's mm -hmm. where the worst possible thing could happen to you being the defense. It's where you're yes. considered to be out style. Hence the name of the game, okay? When you're out style, I immediately score 10 style points and I score a basket. So um, oh, the basket, okay. actually, um, if I win two basket, I win. If I score yes. 42 style points, I also win. Either or, okay? Whichever right. comes first. Right. Um, so right now, I have got my first card out. Uh, it's compulsory for me to play cards as the offense, right? I slowly work my way towards uh, the post. Now, for you mm -hmm. being the defense, you can make a call now. Do you want to play a card to react to me? Okay? Right. So... You know, obviously at the start, uh, I might play a really high card and it's pointless for you to be to play playing card. any cards at all because none of your cards would be able to beat me. But then again, yes. that's when I want to sneak in um, a really crappy um, low value card um, because the lower value cards are actually the really difficult moves. And if I successfully sneak those in, my style right. points really spike. Right. Okay. So there's a little bit of bluffing. So, Oh, it's a lot of bluffing. It's reading uh, into your <laughs> yes. opponent. And that's what this, this whole game revolves around. So um, I've got my, my um, score here. It's right now at a 0-0, zero, zero, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it slowly goes towards um, 42. That's where you win the game, right? Um, well, right. there's a reflection here, so maybe you can't really see it. Um, mm. I'm excited right to see your card. Zero, zero. Okay. Um, so I've got my first card here. Now, you make a call. Do you want to... Uh, pass let me um you know go through on the first step yep. unhindered unmolested yes and i would say thank <laughs> okay. you <laughs> or do you want to play a card to it i want to see your cards i only have four cards so i want to see what your cards are first hopefully it's not a okay. very high style card 
and I regret my yeah, decisions exactly. in life. Okay, yes. So, so you're gonna say you're you're gonna hold, right? You're gonna hold. Yes, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold my okay. pose. And I'll reveal my first card. So it was pretty smart of you because I played a six. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna test the waters here, you know. Um, so I played a six. Um, you kind of couldn't do anything because while you do have one six in your deck, um, in in the corner, it actually has a symbology that says you cannot play a six on your first card. So this mm, six okay. was actually something you could never block. Okay. Right. Well, I guess you called my bluff. So um, I still do do get my first um, step anyway. Lock. So now yeah. I have walked one meter towards the um, post and I immediately score two style points right now. Right. Okay? So right. I'm walking okay. my way up slowly but surely and I've got two points here right now. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to play my second card. And I could be cheeky and start to, you know, play a yeah. really low value. But you know, score a lot. So yeah. I could still score. Uh, I could still, you know, stay safe. And well, it's it's it depends. It's up to you to to kind of call my bluff, right? So I've right. got my second card here right now. Now you gotta make a call I again. I think I'm gonna push my luck because this is a game of basketball. So I'm going to <laughs> play a card. So Nikki is gonna help me play okay. a card. Okay. So again, I'm gonna mention here right now that um, actually. Um, it's a lot of uh, strategy <laughs> around the cards that you have in your hand. Um, so right. I guess um, being the host, you, you don't really have the actual set with you, but um, Nikki obviously is a very experienced gamer. So we're going to trust yes. Nikki to pick the right yep. uh, defense card, okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, Nikki. And so, she will, don't um, worry. <laughs> she has my back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So she's going <laughs> to play a card to block. Okay, fine. So let's reveal the card at the same time, okay? And here goes. So you play a four Ooh. and I play a five. Well, technically I should have, you know, gone, gone past, right? Like my, my, no. my yep. cards are higher, but remember, um, you've already the lock. had an earlier lockdown of yes. two. two right here. So actually the card that Nikki played is right now a six. So it's a floor four, which she played plus two. Okay. And yeah. that would overwhelm my five. And right there, right. you caught me. Okay. Right. So, so does mean I get the four. ball? Exactly. You get the ball. But before that, right. you get style points. So awesome. she um, played the four, <laughs> which has a style points, as you can see in the top right corner, of four. So Nikki and you right now have four style points. Now, it doesn't look good for me because I only have two. Okay. Yes. And what's going to happen? I didn't right realize now I was is... good. <laughs> I was good yeah, at basketball. You, you totally yeah, yeah. crashed me right there. So <laughs> I'm going to um, switch roles. I'm going to remove my entire red deck. Okay. And switch over to the defense deck. Okay. So, exactly uh, what I did just now, you're going to do it now. Okay. You're going to switch yes. to the red deck. Okay. And you're going to so shuffle cool. it. Yes. And you're going to pick eight cards. Okay. Yes. So my so, question is, um, because we're explaining yeah. a lot, how long does the game usually take? Oh, it's really quick. Um, I would say mm. 10 minutes, 15 yeah. tops. Like even with all that tops. bluffing and all that acting, all that, I would yeah. say 15 minute tops. I can imagine yeah, also okay, like in the so, game of basketball that you would like be um, like teasing each other. Oh, would exactly. be a like very fun game. Part of fun, right? <laughs> okay, I see Nikki's <laughs> yeah. got the eight cards right there. Um, so um, you have to pick one card to play. Um, remembering that um, your lockdown value stays, okay? So yes. you don't want to play a, a, a card that's, you know, ha having a really high lockdown from the start because that's going to make me really strong right away, right off the bat. So you want to pick mm. smartly and look for a card that has a low lockdown. Oh, I see you picked the card. Okay, cool. So also note that I cannot play a six or higher. That way you get a guarantee. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call a really... Um... No, nah, you know what? Dumb. I'm just going to be friendly. 
Excuse me. Is it okay if you put the camera back on you and then maybe just show the cards like up so that we can oh, see? Oh, sure, sure. Thing? Let's do this there. Okay. Yes. So, all right. So I'm we've chosen gonna, a card. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold. So reveal the card. Yes. Oh, that's a five. A five. Well, plus no I, lockdown. I do have a five. Okay, mm. I, I could be lying. I do have a five. I could be lying. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to hold on to it and I'm just going to, you know, give you a little bit of mercy here. Um, so you score right away um, the number of style points that's in the top right corner of the five card. So that actually means um, you are right now, you know, adding with the, the two, I'm uh, sorry, the four that you got earlier. And, you know, you can see how this builds up. Okay. Uh, for me, because yep. I didn't play any cards, I don't get any style points at all. Um, so in, in, you know, being conscious of time, let's just do yes. one more, one more. And, uh, Wonderful. I guess you, you make another card right now. You can play a card yes. of your choice. Um, sorry, I couldn't see the card that you played earlier. Um, what was the lockdown value there? It's zero. So you're in trouble. Oh, uh, oh, smart. My goodness. Smart. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I, I, I'm still, at, I'm still back at square so one. I, I don't have yes. any advantage. So okay, Dom, um, while you're choosing a card, do you um, do you have any other projects that you want to talk about before we wrap up? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we actually, Medieval Lords, we have a live Kickstarter right now uh, on our next game. Um, it's called Ten Sons. So Ten mm. Sons is a and yet another unique game. Uh, it, it, Basically, we, we took part in a global contest and we kind of won, you know, an award for it. Oh, congratulations. So, thank you. That's, um, that's where we knew, you know, we've got a really good game going. Um, it's right now yes. live on Kickstarter. So just look for 10 Suns. Okay. And what is 10 um, Suns so, about? Uh, it's, it's themed in Asian, ancient China where, um, mm -hmm. you know, we are all like ancient gods and goddesses. Uh, and there's kind of a lot of um, lore around it where, you know, backstories of, you know, the Jade Emperor, the cards each have a little bit of text, you know, flavor text that talks about what uh, that god or goddess uh, is known for or has a small story around. And it's a kind of like a blind beating game um, involving variable god powers, I would say. And the interesting thing here is that um, you, you start off with, the same amount of bidding resources, meaning 10, because there's 10 suns. Right. So every player um, kind of draws their powers from the suns. But because of the legend of Hou Yi, who kind of shoots down the 10 suns to save the world, because 10 suns obviously is right. too hot for the world. So Hou right. Yi over time basically shoots down the suns one by one. Um, and um, the, the bidding that sounds amazing. the pool for everyone actually goes yeah. you know, smaller and smaller. So that's the, right. the twist in that game. Okay, we'll wrap up here. And where can we um, get out of style? Card. Sure, sorry. I just want to know, where can we get out of style? Out style, and where it's going to go to retail pretty soon. Uh, I would say end of this year, it would be available um, kind of globally. Right, cool. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, so I guess uh, I, I want to finish this final move. Yes, can of, I course, of course, of course. <laughs> Yes, okay, of course, since it's of the course. last, I just the last card, I want to go big, okay? Case. I'm going to do a six. Did I get you? I did. I did, right? You did. Cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm happy to finish <laughs> my, my part here. <laughs> okay. That's why you wanted to play the card. You wanted to beat me because we beat you last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you did have a good trashing of me in the first time around, so I, I had to come back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, but thank you well, thank you for having me yeah no this seems like a very um exciting game i like the the energy of it it's pretty cool oh, yeah especially for a card game yeah so <laughs> thank you so much dominic for talking about out of style hopefully we can get it in our hands soon so that we can play it and you know be in style in basketball and this is from <laughs> medieval lords <laughs> yes and good luck with your kickstarter hope um i hope it does really well Thank you. Thank you for everything.